Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Enshrouded. I'm the Radio Man 3 and it's awesome to have you along. Did I notice what the eye does? Yeah. Look at it. Look it down at me. I think it looks up too when you jump. Yeah, see, look at, look at that eye. Of course I saw this. I thought I showed the case this right off the bat the other time. The last time. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe not. I know it's been a while since we've had an episode, but i kind of been leaving it up to the streams. You guys have been watching the streams, and I'm really happy about that. I'm glad you're enjoying them. So I've been taking the episode time that I normally do in the afternoon and doing Red Dead Redemption 2 episodes. Yeah. That's been fun. So there's a couple hours of this each day, and there's at least an hour of that, too, because Red Dead is quite the in-depth game. So... That's how we're dividing things up. So kind of expect it from now on that it's it's all the streams. Just keep following the streams, and uh, that's where you'll find you're enshrouded here. I may do an episode or something down the road, maybe. But right now, I think I want to do most of it. Just leave it on the streams. It's two hours long. We, we do it every day, Monday through Friday. We didn't do it this morning because I had to take Giovanni to the vet. He seems to be okay. Um, and so... But Monday through Friday, typically, from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m., I am streaming on my YouTube channel. So you can find that there. And then if you can't make the stream, of course, it's going to be posted right there under live broadcasts. And you can just check it out anytime you want. So that's what we're going to do. So I can do a little bit of Red Dead Redemption uh, in the afternoons and stuff. And we'll throw a little Valheim in there as well. Yeah, we will. A little bit of Valheim as well. A little bit of Valheim at the moment. Okay, so it's been a while, if you've not followed the streams, you've not been watching the streams, it's been a while since you've been here to see what's going on. So what we're going to do is we're going to start at the very beginning and walk through our base at the moment. So, first thing we have is this, of course, beautiful structure here. We're, we had a lot of fun building this structure. We've got our path all bushed up. Lots of berry bushes. Wow, I really went crazy with the berry bushes, didn't I? Our pathway that we put in just recently that leads around the front end of the property. And then down the hill to the road that connects up to where is a, uh, a shroud that you could chop down. I think we got the uh, Oswald's place over here. We've put in new lighting and stuff. We've got some really nice new lighting that has come along. Just absolutely fantastic. Our beautiful garden out front here. Our, our, our other garden back in here. we got our flame here, which is decorated nicely with the, uh, the beautiful uh, flower soil. And then, of course, boat up here. The main entrance. Ah, the main entrance. You know what? We should probably look into a couple of really nice braziers, right? That we could put one here and one here. We should probably look into replacing most of these wooden uh, chandeliers for something that's much nicer. And maybe hang them lower, like we did above our throne. We do have the new... Um, where did I put it? The new chandelier glows green right up here. The one we got from... Uh, uh, Crowley over here. Look at this guy. Uh-huh. It is awesome with the skulls and the green flame and it gives a nice little green glow up in here. I think it's very cool. We've got the iron lights. Oh, man. The lighting has gotten fantastic. A nice little skull and candle over here with the books. Uh, we haven't upgraded. I like this throne better than I do the stone one, but we do have the stone one on the property, so we get the benefits of it, of course. We got this guy, Crowley, a brand new guy, right? A brand new survivor. This is his. Uh, this, this is his cool little uh, machine over here. His yeah, his workstation. So this is his corner over here. This is where Crowley hangs out. This is his place. I'm thinking about adding uh, probably a bed or something over here that he would probably use. I don't know. I don't know if I want to give him his own room. I really like having him out here. When I first get in here, he typically, if I've been gone for a while, he will move and lift that lantern up and speak a little bit to me i'm not gonna bite you I, I, i'm not worried about it buddy i'm not you're my buddy you're my friend and he picks that up and it's got this really great sound effect that goes along with it it's just perfect it's just absolutely perfect for that that uh, that chandelier that uh, that lantern Ooh, this is something i needed to fix let's do that for with each other right now look at that see that's embarrassing can't have that all right, there we go. Let's break all that stuff up. Yeah, let's do a little. Uh, let's do a little TLC here. So on on the streams, we have been doing a lot of adventuring, a lot of adventuring. We've gone through the first two, if you don't know it, and we've gone through it twice. Uh, the first two hollow halls. The second one in Revelwood, we did twice, and it was a thing. It is a thing. It is a big thing, and I, I hear that the next one is even bigger. Nomads. 
right? The Nomad Highlands is going to be, even, it's even bigger. So we're going to put this over here so that our beautiful Iron Brute trophy is lit up nicely there. I can see this chair is already in the way. We have a beautiful green globe that we were able to make. Boom. We got all kinds of knickknack stuff now, and we had our books leaning against it, just like so. Huh? Right? That looks good. Now the bookshelf's not going into it, so our secret entranceway into our room is, yet again, a, a good secret. That was looking really bad, having it go through that table. All fixed. And if you're not familiar, we've got our bookshelves right here. Got our entranceway. We've got another globe right there that we've made. Beautiful. I think it's lapis, right? I think it's lapis. I don't know. Got a couple of candle holders here as we walk in, and boom, our beautiful room. Uh, complete with our own uh, bathroom. Everyone wants me to put some kind of a fireplace in here, but I like it cold, baby. I like it cold. And we've got our fireplace. Uh, we've got our armoire with our furniture in it. Our sickle scythe head up there. Another one of which we got in the last stream. Uh, killed another one, so we have a second head like that to hang up. Uh, and then just nice furniture and stuff. This is the other throne right here. It's not, it's not bad, but I don't like it as much as the wood one. It's bigger. It does. It is bigger, but it's it's almost like it belongs in a desert, if you ask me. And it might be too tall, actually. Huh. I think this one out here is a little shorter. Oh, I heard that clank. There he is. Yeah, see him? He lifted it. Back from beyond, are you? No, he's back from the bedroom, buddy. <laughs> I mean, come on. Yeah, I think if I put that one here, it'd be too tall. I might rearrange this a little bit just so we can get some of these other heads in here. I mean, we've got him over there. We got this one over here. Uh-huh. Uh, there's there's skulls everywhere. Trophies everywhere. All right, we're going to walk through the place again. Like I said, we're going to take a little tour of our, our, our home and then take a look at something new that we're working on. Let's take a sleep, if we can. I'm going to rest for just a second. Get a sip of my coffee. Hour 23 minutes. That's not bad. All right, so there's the uh, there's the quarters. Our room. Be kind of working on trying to collect the um, armor pieces, but I think in order to do that, I'm really going to have to kind of you got to go like back through the game again, you know, and go back to those chests and in that area and see if you just get lucky and luck of the draw, you get a chest that has it. So I think that really wraps this up in here. We do have a nice green uh, stand here that again Crowley allowed us to get because he's got an amazing uh, illumination category. If you're not familiar with this guy, he has really got some cool stuff. Um, spells, let's see, Ectoplasm Press, that's the workstation, there we go, the Ectoplasm Gem. He's got some really nice tables, there's some chairs, uh, a chair I should say, Illumination is pretty fantastic, pretty fantastic stuff. I don't know that I want it glowing green out front though, because we've got the blue out there, so I don't know that I want to use these out there. Uh, and then some cupboards, beautiful, and some shelves, beautiful. We made one of the tables, and that's what the stuff is sitting on Everything the table. Everything ends. Everything ends, he said. I guess so. I'm not sure about the universe, though, buddy. <laughs> Pretty sure space goes on forever. Right? Uh, down here, nothing has changed. We are pretty much the same. Uh, I, I haven't taken the time to give him a bed or anything else, although he's one of my he's one of our best guys, right? Because he's got everything. So he's got his dungeon down here with all of our supplies in it, but he does have his own bathroom. Boom, up the stairs. Of course, we've got Oswald's new quarters here. Or we moved our smithy. He was upstairs above us, but we moved him down here because, well, he deserved a big space for all of his really cool stuff. There's another one of her trophies right there. So he deserved a big space for all of his stuff. We have uh, another green uh, display light over here uh, to go along with our bridge with the pots and the flowers and the, and the ferns and all those things you can make there. Uh, this is fun. I'm enjoying taking you guys around and showing you a little tour. So we've got that, and then we've got our kilns over here, two of them, and then we have a you know the charcoal guy over here working on it. Yeah, working on some coal right now, some charcoal. Is this a kiln, right? What is this? Yeah, it's a kiln. Okay. Is this a is this labeled charcoal kiln? What is this one labeled? Charcoal kiln. Okay, it is. Okay. I never really read that before. Anyways, there we go. We got this room taken care of. Oswald's stuff. And our stuff, of course. Our weapons and things that we're holding on to, keeping all the legendaries. And if we leave Oswald's place and we go up the stairs. End up our next set of stairs. We gotta work on these hallways a little bit. 
Adeline's up here. She took over Oswald's old quarters. We've got our stuff in here. I've got plenty of stuff for arrows and everything. And I still keep the arrows with me just because, you know what? They're fun to do. And then, of course, she's got Oswald's old place here. Nothing changed there. Up we go. I'd say this area up here is one of the places I come back to and work on a little bit here and there throughout the series so far is um, Emily's farm area. Gets a little bit of work. I do like having this uh, tree down here. I'm thinking maybe what I should do is um, plant a little bit of grass or something around it and kind of just kind of cord it off. I'm not going to get rid of that one. I really like the fact that it's there. Yeah, I like that. Anyways, that's there, and uh, we've got a decent food supply, but I, it, oh, I know what I did. It was a big thing that I kept pushing off on, as I put all the food in magic chests. This is all the cooked food over here. Everything cooked, and our water is over here. Anything that is a raw resource is over here and divided up in these chests over here. We've got a pretty good supply of stuff. Uh, maybe not on the aloe. That might be a problem. We grew some recently, but it seemed to take forever. So I think it'd almost be better off just to go out and chop it down myself. Uh, and then Emily's place is here, of course. And nothing really changed in here either. Uh, I was doing some flour, right? Yeah, I got 19 in there right now. I need to get to this food right here. Uh, I need that flour. I Hold on, Emily. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm looking for the flour. Let me... I could make... We're going to start using those wraps for our constitution. I want to make as many as I can, which is what I had for flour, right? There we go, perfect, just like so. Don't be a stranger. Don't be a stranger. I think I've got flour in here too, right? I've got a little bit, I got 15 in there. No salt, so we're not making any bread at the moment. All right, let's put the extras in here. I am gonna do a uh, split. Yes, let's do that. I'll throw those in there. I'm going to put those over here. That chair I should probably put down. All right, so we got a little extra of that. I don't have any more spiced tea in here, which I'm using, um, yeah, for endurance. And then we've got the glow soup. And I can I make any more of this? What is this? This is, I think this is, what is that recipe for that anyways? I need to go see that. Because I believe we're having to work on something to get that. Are you the one that makes the glow soup? Here it is. Yeah, she does. Uh, spice, water, and azure rizula. Nine of them for each one of them. Hmm. Okay, so I need to get those going and get those growing as well. Because this is pretty handy. Plus five intelligence, plus 60 shroud protection, which I guess it's been helping while we're in the shroud. We spent a lot of time in the shroud the other day, and it was pretty handy. But for the rest of the time, why is that even beneficial to me? It's plus 60 shroud protection. If I'm not going to be in the shroud, why would I eat this? Um, I think I'm going to not eat that. Uh, what else do I have for intelligence? This gives me plus 4 for 40 minutes. Plus 5, I guess it's an extra 1. And it's for an extra five minutes, huh? So maybe I'm just eating it for that reason. The shroud protection's just there. Just the thing is, I think this might be a little cheaper. Yeah, see, I've got a bunch of eggs, and I can get mushrooms pretty easy. So I'm going to switch to the mushroom for a little bit. Especially if I'm going to be... You know, on not going into the shroud. There we go. We've, we've made a decision here. Excuse me. Thank you. Let's put those down here, and I'll put the goo up here. And if I'm going to be in the shroud area, I'll try. I'll try to remember to grab the goo. Yeah, why not? Save us a little bit, right? Mushrooms are easy enough to come by. I say that, and I'm wondering if that's actually the case. I've got four here. Uh, that's it. Okay, so this was a problem recently. Mm -hmm. And eggs are not an easy thing to come by either, right? It's not really a renewable resource. you got to go out and get them. I don't have any chickens that are laying eggs here, so... That's not happening. I was making mushrooms in one of these recently. There they are right there, and boom. 
Mushrooms and seedlings. Okay, there we go. I got 50 of those guys. So I got to get those in the ground. And we'll let those guys cook up. All right, sweet. Perfect. All right, yeah, I'm going to plant these then. I'm going to get these guys planted. I'll be right back. If I said it once, I'll say it again. The soundtrack for this game is great. It's super relaxing in here. Love it. Okay, I think I planted all the seedlings that I had. I'm going to leave some of this stuff down here around the base of this tree here. Just for fun, just another little garden right there. I like having the little blue mushrooms popping up here and there. It's, it's nice. It just adds a kind of a, I guess, magical feel to it, right? A little bit of a magical feel. Yeah, it's just perfect. Just just enough light to get by with, especially if, you know, you're in here. I know it's dark for you guys to see it right now, but it sure is. Uh, it's a quaint little place right here. Yeah, nice. Okay, so I did a little bit of farming with you guys. Look at that, man. It's going to glow like crazy up here. But we're going to pick those. And, oh, to grow these, I need some ingredients. I was going to do that too, right? Uh, which one am I going to do this in? Let's do it in this one here. One's well, got the mushrooms in it. This has actually got a little bit of time left on it. Let's throw these guys in here. And I want to do you. Can I pin that? I need fossilized bone dust and shroud liquid. Oh man, shroud liquid, huh? Fossilized bone dust, I believe I have. Can I not? Ooh, wait a minute. I can drown. I can do it from here. No, 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 no. I, I thought I, I picked the Azure. There, select that. Select that. Okay, stop doing that right there. Okay, so that's all I could do is one round, huh? I get five seedlings out of that. Because mm. I'm out of shroud liquid, and I'm, it looks like I'm out of fossilized bone dust, too, which I'm a little surprised to see that. Let's go downstairs near Balthazar. I'm pretty sure that's where I've got stuff like that stored, and I think I've got some down in storage, too. So I'm a little surprised. It's, well, you know what? I bet I've got the bones, but not the dust. You know? I bet that's what it is. In here, what are we what are we grinding up here? We oh, there we go. Look at there, fossilized bone dust, and there it is. Awesome. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw a bone meal in there. I don't know if I need this in here, but I'm gonna throw it in here so it's not my inventory. And a couple of those in there too. There we go. All right, I've got that. And then what was the other thing? Shroud liquid, huh? And I'm pretty sure we don't have that because we have been using the heck out of it. Um, I'm gonna actually leave that in there and go get some more. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go get some more right down here. It's easy to get to. Hop, skip, and jump away. Uh, there's always a little bit of adventure in here too, which you don't have to fight very hard with. It just you get to just have a lot of fun with these guys because they're so low level. It's a good time. All right, I'm gonna get shroud liquid and then I'll be back. We want to make those seeds so we have a supply of those blue guys if we need them. This is a really cool glow to it. Why is that? Why is it so glowy here? You see that? It's super bright right here. That's cool. This one too, maybe they put off that light when they... If I chop this out, does it go away? Or is it the ground that's lighting this up? No, uh, no it was definitely the plant. Huh. Maybe when they reach a certain age, they put off that light? Because, I mean, it's big, right? This is, I think this is probably as big as they get. So they act like kind of a, almost a, a nice little light in here, now that I've chopped it down. But yeah, that's what it seems like. I never really kind of noticed that before. I don't spend a lot of time chopping these guys down until just recently. Sometimes they give you a decent amount. It's kind of hard to find it on the ground, though, if you ask me. Oh, goat. Jeez, that goat scared me. Nice. Thanks, skull guy. <laughs> Make him do all the dirty work, you know? There we go. I notice if you run too fast, sometimes he doesn't keep up with you. 
He'll get a little far behind you. I don't run much, so that's never really an issue for me, but if you do, he will lose track of you. I think he just disappeared. He's done. He did his due diligence there. Uh, how do we do? We've got uh, two stacks. That's not too shabby. That's pretty. Oh, two stacks and then a little bit more. Two stacks and a little bit more. But I bet we could do a little bit better. Uh, it's still nighttime. I want to do this, I think, the whole night. And then uh, come back. We'll, we'll do something else. Firefly. There we go. I never noticed that there were fireflies in the shroud. <laughs> Am I just now realizing that? I'd never noticed that before, but sure enough, these little bright spots on the ground are fireflies. I'd never really gone up and looked at them. I just figured it was some kind of glow off the mushrooms and stuff, but there are fireflies in here, which is really cool. It's so dark and eerie. I love it. Spooky. I've certainly gotten more used to being in here. There we go. Uh-oh. Sun's coming up. Oh, somebody took a shot at me. I heard an arrow whiz by my head. We got him. Justice was served. All right, well, very good. That was a pretty productive night, actually. Yeah, I don't want bug parts. All right, I'm going home. There we go, perfect. Four, five, six, a seven, eight, a n n nine, and a ten. And then let's take these guys right here and put them in here as well. And we will have extra mushroom seedlings uh, being prepared for us. Perfect. Fourteen cute. All right, awesome. That'll give us plenty of those. Excellent. All right, good job, everybody. Good job. We've gotten some farming done. Let's go. I've got other stuff in my inventory, but I think I can leave this here. We can go talk about what we're going to talk about and have stuff in my inventory. Let's go to the map. Our new location, as you probably know, is right up here. But let's go up there and we'll take a look at that. Talk about what's happened so far and where we're going. I sounded exhausted there as I got up here, you know? He was like, oh, was he tired? I think why I'm losing my buffs is what it is, huh? My food buff. So, of course, this is our pathway down off this beautiful mountain that we found out here. And we have got a staircase now that comes off the mountain into, I guess, maybe almost like a, uh, a foyer, right? A place where you would greet people. This is where greetings would take place. So we'll have to have some rugs and some nice artwork and stuff like that in here and make this place look nice. The mountain will stay. That will be part of it back there, but we will clean this up and just make it look a little more finished in here. The one thing we're really concerned about is the sound effect that comes along with the well block. It seems to be the cause of the, the shroud. It sounds like the shroud <laughs> because it is the elixir well block. So it clings for a while. And now you can see it's gone. And this building has a little tower on it right here. This is still kind of in progress. It's, it's pretty simple and pretty basic. So this is still kind of in progress up here. But Emily's going to be living up on this piece of land right here. She'll be the closest. And then she can also look down over where the farms are going to be, which is right down in front here. There'll be farms. And we're going to fence them off. And it's going to look, it's going to look like you're coming through a farming area before you hit our uh, the keep. The keep, I guess. This is our keep. Uh, and then we're going to put, um, let's see, we've got Emily here. I believe the hunter 
Adeline is going to go right here. Adeline's going to have a small place right here for hunting because she's out and about most of the time. But she'll have a nice little cabin right here. Uh, Oswald is going to be up on that plateau right there because this plateau actually comes up from that staircase perfectly right through here. So we'll be able to come right through here and Oswald will be back in here along with this, of course, copper. The copper nodes will stay and we'll build around them and make this place look really cool for Oswald. Up here at the top of the scaffolding here and up on the next area there at the very tippy top there. I guess we could put our place way at the top and do some kind of a rook up there. You know, almost like, not a lighthouse, so to speak, but a rook that you get on top of and see a long ways away. You know, like the spires are, like the spires. We will aspire to be a spire. And we do something up there for that. And then let's say we put, um, is Balthazar and Crowley friends, do they like each other? How nice is it that they fix the ladders, huh? That's sweet. I tell you what. Very nice. Very, very nice. I was thinking if we could do Balthazar and Crowley on something like this, this could be kind of cool. Another thing that would be a good idea for them is to have them hanging off the edge of something and sort of suspended from the cliffside. I want all structures in this build to be visible from all angles. I don't want to build and, and build into hillsides. I want to have complete structures. So that's 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 a that's a must. We've already done the the cliffside building, and it was a lot of fun. And I love our base, but this one I want the structures to be completely exposed all the way around. We have to be able to move around them. So some of them will be a little bit larger than others, but I think it's really going to lend a. a, a we're going to go with, with the shape of the landscape, and I'm going to try to leave as many of these big trees again as I can possible in this thing. Uh, now that I know I can replant these, that's fantastic. And I think I can plant... Well, I can plant these guys here. But I haven't seen one of these come up yet with a seedling that I planted. I think this is about as big as the tree gets, is right here. If I'm not mistaken, let me know if I'm wrong about that. Did I plant... Can you plant these trees? I just don't feel like you can. Or is this one still growing and going to get as big as that one? Or are there different sizes? That's kind of what I'm wondering about with these trees. Because you can see there's different stages of it. For sure. I just don't know if this one eventually is going to get as big as this one here. In time. Because they do take a long time to grow. We have one in the front of the house. Uh, the, the base. And it's uh, forever a day. It's about this size right here. Maybe that's full grown. Maybe that's all we can grow. Is something like that right there. Anyways, what I'm trying to get at is a lot of the plants are going to come back. If we have to cut some down, we're going to bring them back. But these big ones, I don't think I want to cut them down. I really have to learn. I'm going to have to work hard to get around those and, and incorporate them into the build. Uh, so that's kind of the idea there. And then the pathway, of course, is what we've got lit up with the torches, which we did a while back uh, together, I think uh, in an episode as well, that we just kind of did this and... You know, this is the uh, the path we take. So we'll go out front and take a look. This is by no means finished here. Lots, lots of decoration still has to be done. We did pick these doors, which I think are beautiful against this uh, green block. That color is fantastic. I mean, it is amazingly awesome. Those two colors together look great together. And I love the copper or bronze on these doors. It's It's spectacular. We added some nice lighting in our pillars as you come up the stairs. And we're using the shroud wood for our wood right now. But that's how that's going to look. Now, I'm not sold on is this green up here. I'm not really sold on that. It's too much. It's too much of this green. So I don't like it. Uh, I do like the block, but I don't like this. It's, it's, too, it's too flat. I'm, I, I want to go a little more dimensional, too. I want some depth. Like, the lights here have depth, you know? I want some depth, and that doesn't have depth to it. So we're going to work out something else. I'll take those out, and I think we're going to hang, hang some nice chandeliers from in the middle of that, straight down into the middle of that window, and have chandeliers hanging on that side, and have one over on this side. And I think that would be absolutely perfect right there. It would give us these lights down here, and I, I was thinking about adding these up here, and I'm not going to do that now. That's it. They're going to be just like that. And then I'm going to have those chandeliers hanging up there. And, um, yeah, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be just beautiful with all the, yeah, lots and lots of light. It'll look nice. Yeah, a chandelier hanging right in the middle of this window, paint, this, this arch. And then on the other side, it would be absolutely perfect. Mm-hmm. 
yeah, that's what we're going to do. I am considering taking this tree, and I said I didn't want to. I probably won't. I was thinking about taking this one and this one out. At first, I like the fact that they line up with the fact that we're going to have our, our fencing through here a little bit, and then we're going to have our farm here, and we're going to have farmland over here on this side. This could be farmland out here, right out here. So I was thinking about getting rid of these two trees just so it would open up the front of the building. Let me know what you think. At the moment, I'm tossing it back and forth. Part of me wants to, and part of me thinks, eh, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe that's, we talked about, you know, we're, we're this elven, elven dwarf, elvish dwarven, dwarven kind of um, realm we're trying to go with here. Maybe those trees need to stay, right? Those aren't, I can't make those. Those are, that's a beautiful tree right there. Nevertheless, that's what's running through my head there. Come up to the doors. They're fantastic. Absolutely. Uh, oh, whoops. Uh, no, 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 radio. We had those so we get up and down easy. We considered a lot of blocks in the build, for sure. Went through them, put some up, took some down, played with them, decided what colors we like together, and this is what we've come up with. So we are right now using the well block as the main structural block, and again, I'm hoping this sound effect goes away. I hope it does. We've got the rough flintstone as our floor. Now, we played with these out front for the lights, uh, and we're using these uh, iron window frames, two of them. We're using the round one and then this uh, rectangular-shaped one. Uh, one other block, and then we use the, um, that's the, is it castle? The castle stone block is what we used upstairs on that second tower. Yeah, we checked out some of these other ones, but they were a little too light. And this one, uh, we'll go back up there and take a look at it. But this was definitely a block that um, I was surprised by, and it worked. And then this is the roofing up there, too. We've got the tarred shingled roofing up there. So let's go up there and take a look at that so you guys can see it again. I love all your feedback on the building stuff, so let me know what you think. And then we'll, of course, keep moving on. I love the fact that we're building in a new location. It's very exciting, and it's, it's going to be very organic, I feel like, up these pathways. And I think it's going to be beautiful when we're done with it, being able to stand here and look and, and see all of that right there. It's going to be cool. So this is, yeah, this is the castle block. But what we liked about this one, and what I really liked about this one, is it's got that green mossy, uh, the green moss growing in between the stones up there especially. You can really see it. And I thought that really added a nice green to go along with the well block. And then the dark gray and this go so well together also that we thought, okay, this is good. I'm not completely sold on this um, tower right here. But um, I'm thinking what I might want to do is move it out a little bit further. And maybe not have a balcony that goes all the way around it, but move this out further and have an inner balcony that goes around this thing here. Uh, just to give it a little bit more uh, oomph to it. A little more size. That's not a bad idea, Radio. That might not be a bad idea at all. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that might be that might be the trick. Anyways, we'll work on that together. But that is a thought that just popped into my head, and I'll share that with you and tell, give me your feedback. But I would like to, yeah, maybe pop that back a bit more. Do a nice rail around the outside and a rail around the inside. We don't necessarily have to have this little quick pop-up, but I thought we'd have it there so that when we're coming back from uh, a long trip or whatever, and we happen to be walking up here, which is very unlikely, but we're coming back from the farm, we would be able to, you know, zip ourselves right up here and bam, we are at Emily's place, you know, at the farm. So that, that could be pretty handy too. Matter of fact, I'd probably keep that, right? Makes sense to have that especially if I'm coming back from the farm. Indeed. Uh, so that has been going on. Let's look at our map in case you haven't, again, if you haven't been following the streams, I haven't done episodes lately because I've been doing my episode time, which is when I record in the afternoons for Red Dead Redemption 2. And I was putting up three hours of content from Enshrouded each day. So I thought, you know what? I'll do the, we'll just stick with the streams for Enshrouded and then we will do Red Dead Redemption 2 right now for the episodes in the afternoons. That way it's not three hours of this every day. Gives me something else to do as well. 
Uh, so we did go around and open up a bit more of the map. Uh, we 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 played around here on the last stream. We got this elixir well done, that shroud route done, and we explored this area right here, which was really fun. We had a good time, and that's where we picked up the sickle scythe uh, trophy. Um, I could use a little work up here, probably, to see what's up in this area, and I've not been back here in a long time. Oh, yeah, I don't think I've been back up here for a little bit. It's been a tick for sure. And I thought it would be good to kind of walk through here too and get this opened up. So we'll be doing this in a stream soon as well. Walking this shroud area here and getting all the way through here and getting that lit up. Because, yeah, I've got bits and pieces of it, but I'm missing some. Uh, maybe that's red and I can't get to it. I don't know. Um, matter of fact, I think it might be red. That's why I can't get to it. Anyways, there's plenty of things to still do on the map. And we have two count them two more of these this is the nomad highland hall that's going to be pretty much our next mission is to go do that and we're going to get some uh i think it's the green stained glass that we'll get as a as in a reward which might look good in that front entryway as well uh, that could really spice things up a bit too so we'll have to go do that um uh, this week during the streams we'll go out to the nomad highlands hollow halls take a bunch of stuff with us and fight fight to the end uh, and then we don't have all the achievements. There's still flames I've not lit. There's still a few shroud roots. I haven't got a couple of shroud root areas all taken care of. There's still some here that uh, I haven't seen yet. So maybe they're down in here. Maybe I do need to go down here and check that out. Obviously, right? Right. So we could do that. Yeah, that looks like it's there where I'm going to be running into something. There may be something here. Possibly. What's this here? Uh, that's going to be a shroud root, right? There's one there. Should actually do that and take care of it and get rid of it. Possibly. And then... Uh, looks like we got one over here too. That's really close by too as well. Alright. And this one I think you have to jump in from the top and fly down and land on something in order to get to that. So you got to be careful where you're flying in there. All right, but anyways, there's there's still plenty of enshrouded to come. I have not grown tired of this game at all, and we're just now getting started again into another. What's well, going to be a sizable build? It's going to be a big build. It's going to take a while. I'm still working on the front entryway because once you get the front entryway taken care of, well, you're inspired for the rest of the place, for sure, for sure. So we'll get that taken care of, and we are going to have a really good time building our way up that pathway and to each and every location that we're going to have along the way. It's going to be a good time. I hope you enjoyed this update on Enshrouded. Again, it's going to be streams from now on, and I will probably have an episode like this down the road, but it's not going to be every day like it was. So look for the streams. It's on the live. Uh, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Arizona time is when we're streaming. Hope to see you there. If not, you can all course keep up with the episodes uh, with the streams right there on my channel as well. Under that live tab. I want you to have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day. And I do look forward to talking to you again next time.